Hello again. Mark back with you. Another video. Smoking my Wessex. In it, I have 1792 Flake. Just sitting out here this morning. It's uh, a little cooler today. Just kind of contemplating so much. Sometimes that gets us in trouble. But sometimes you have to do it. Contemplating personal life things. Have you ever been in a situation where financially you're probably sitting in one of the, you know, one of the better positions you've been in in a long time, but emotionally you're way worse off? And you really don't know what to do to fix the problem. I'm not going to get too personal with this. I'm just kind of reaching out. Uh, not really sure where to go. positive things with this new job and there's negative things and some days it just seems like the negative outweigh the positive this is one of them days so I come on here and I load it all on you It's not only personal things, it's things that I talk about a lot on this channel. <clears throat> I won't label it political, but I will label it important things that are going on in this country. That I think most people are choosing to ignore on purpose. I don't think this country's ever had its head in the sand more than it does right now. Completely ignore, you know, blatant liberties being taken away from people right before our eyes. People being wrongfully prosecuted in order to put you this way folks stuff that's going on right now with a former president being railroaded the weaponization of our DOJ and our intelligence agencies uh, should scare the shit out of everybody and I'm sure everybody got the uh, the emergency test message yesterday Don't be surprised if that was just a way, somehow a way, for the government to more thoroughly track your phone or something like that effect. I'm not saying, I, I, I who knows, maybe it's just a test, but it was supposed to go off at 120 and it was two minutes early 
for like everybody. So do you, is that, how much faith does that give you and your government that they can't even run the test in the time that they said they did? It was almost like it was a, we're going to put this out before what we said we were going to put it out because we don't want people, you know, trying to avoid getting this test, receiving this test. I don't know. It was kind of weird. If you want my honest opinion when it comes to, and you all know who I'm talking about, former president. You, anybody, I mean, the left, they're just in glee. They think he's going to go to jail. Okay. Whatever. Look up, try to Google it. Tell me, anybody tell me if you can find anywhere where it says an ex-president can, can be incarcerated. They have secret service with them the rest of their life. You're going to have secret service in fucking prison? No. It's a ridiculous notion. It's all bullshit. To try to sway enough people not to vote for him. They are, he's like up 50 points in the Republican. There's no, there. he is the nominee for the Republican Party, period. He is the Republican Party. That's the problem because, not a problem for me, but a problem for the Democrats. There's no amount of indictments you could do. There's no amount of lies you can say, you know, the, the mainstream media can put out. I seriously believe there's, it's, it's going to come down to, so first it was protests, then it was impeachments, then it was, now they weaponize the DOJ against them and they're going to try to throw them in prison, which isn't going to work because of how our judicial system works. We have appellate courts and, you know, the Supreme Court. No, it's the only people indicting him are far leftist judges and, uh, you know, New York. They're all Trump drain syndrome suffering whack jobs. That's not going to work. So what's left? Assassination. That's what is left. They don't want to do that because a man has a following like no one has ever seen in politics in history. Um, it would be worse than JFK. It would be a lot worse. Trust me. Should all this stress me out this much? Probably not. But it does. I'm watching my country, this government. You know, the, the saying, I love my country, I despise my government. Uh, everyone is up in arms about Matt Gates, uh, about McCarthy getting kicked off of the uh, speaker's chair. Yeah, there's talk if you're going to put Trump there, which he already said he doesn't want. Jim Jordan is probably the most likely person that's going to vacate. It's going to take that and get voted into it. But the thing is, this is the problem. Conservatives, most conservatives love Jordan. I'm sorry, if you don't want to hear about politics, you can just turn this video off because that's basically what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm talking about in this video. Um, most conservatives love Jim Jordan and they'd be perfect. They hope they're all hoping he gets, you know, placed, put in as speaker. But the problem is the system is so fucked. It's not going to matter. Uh, Jordan is a definite no on funding Ukraine. He's a definite yes for border security, more security at the border. Um, he's a definite yes for no more omnibus, omnim, omnibus bills, whether they throw a bunch of shit that is unpopular into a bill just to get one thing that they want. They want to go with singular 
That is huge. That would be huge. Is it going to happen? No. Because that's how Congress, that's all. That's how they all get rich. That's how they put in all the special interest pork money. That's not going away. None of them have an interest in just going and voting on one thing. You know, that's that puts a spotlight on things. People see how people vote. And they don't want that. They don't want the spotlight on them. So even if Jordan gets put in, Congress, I think right now they have like an 80% disapproval rating. The system is just so broken. There's no one person that's going to fix this. They either have to start doing the right thing and, like we just stated, putting single things in every bill that they vote for. Not packing a bunch of pork in it and all these bills to try to get shit passed. That has to be the first thing. Term limits. That has to be the second thing. I'm sure a lot of you think I just waste my time sitting out here thinking about this stuff. Maybe that's true. But I actually care about my children's future. And I think everyone else does too. They just can't put both things together that these are the people that are supposed to be fixing the problems in this country and they just contribute to it. All they care about is enriching themselves. And they hate us. Bottom line. Most, I'm not talking about 100% of these people, but I'm talking about a really big percentage. How are you all doing? <laughs> this is probably just going to be one of them downer days for me, unfortunately. <clears throat> which I don't really like. I don't like having these kind of days when I'm back home. But can't really control these types of things. I guess I'm just tired of, I'm getting tired of hoping things happen. Um, hoping things start going our way and they're not. Still got $5 gallon gas, groceries are, but yep, you know. We continue to hear from our mainstream media how great the Biden administration's economic policies are because they think you are an idiot. They 
they think I'm an idiot. Man, I love this uh, 1792 flake. Man, it does not like to stay lit for me. But I have to. But if I have to say, if there's one tobacco that gives me the least amount, like no tongue bite whatsoever, 1792 flake. This stuff is amazing. Man, weather out here today is almost perfect. Came out in shorts, like ooh. I go back in and put in on put on some sleep pants. I like it. Sorry, this is such a downer video, guys. Sometimes. We gonna do. <clears throat> I've noticed uh, quite, not quite a few, but a few of uh, the uh, YouTube channels I'm subscribed to. Uh, their amount of content has been going down drastically, which is kind of a bummer. I don't want to be one of those channels. So. I will continue to put out videos sometimes. You know, like this one. I do implore many of you, though. I understand, you know, the YTPC. That's what makes the YTPC great is that, you know, we, we talk about pipes and pipe tobacco. Um, and that gets, that's kind of our, I guess, place to go where we can get away from all these issues that I'm talking about. I understand that. But sometimes it people just need to vent, I think. And uh, I think we're all here for each other. That's what makes this community so great is we're here for each other. I know it makes me feel better that I can come on here, talk about whatever is on my mind and I know I will get support from all of you that means a lot and uh, I appreciate everybody uh, whether you are subscribed to the channel whether you're not you just come back I know there's a lot of people that come and watch my videos that have not subscribed to my videos I appreciate you as well. Um, so, I hope everyone has an amazing Thursday. Please have a better start to your day than me. <laughs> um, looking forward to seeing you all back on the channel again. As always, keep them lit. <laughs>